we have uh, the expert who is pioneer in the field of medical oncology and who is working in, the, in this field for more than uh, 25 years now. And uh, he is a senior consultant and currently uh, in HG Hospital, Dr. Radhesh Nani. He will be talking about how cancer nutrition can help uh, the cancer patients. We have the founder and CEO of the company, Mr. Raktan Chattopadhyay. He will be talking about that how uh, Esperal Biosearch, uh, what is our vision and uh, what is our mission, how cancer nutrition uh, we are taking uh, forward globally. Apart I'm Dr. Adesha. Uh, I'm a medical oncologist. That means I treat uh, cancers with uh, medicines, drugs, injections. Uh, we have a lot of drugs, chemotherapy, biological treatment, immunotherapy, hormone treatment, and all that. And uh, over the last 25 years in which I have practiced, I have seen hundreds of new drugs which have come and uh, more cancers have become treatable. More cancers we can shrink, we can make their life better. Um, I, I still remember uh, some of these cancers, patients used to live less than for less than six months. And now with uh, all these advances, patients are living maybe for five years, six years. Some of them getting cured. Our cure rates have increased. Even if they don't get cured, their survival has increased. Um, but one of the aspects uh, in cancer which has um, not kept up is supportive care. So you have, to, you have to make the patient feel better also, not just live. So there are a lot of things in this. For example, uh, with cancer treatment, your blood counts come down, hemoglobin comes down, you feel a little weak. So we have now drugs to improve the hemoglobin. Like that, one of the important things in which, which by which patient can feel better is nutrition. So if you look at the all the cancers, 20% of the patients die, not because of cancer, but because of cancer cachexia, which is, means severe malnutrition produced by cancer. Now we, doctors, including me also, we are all guilty that we have not really targeted this aspect of cancer. Infection. Uh, this is Raktim Chattopadhyay. I founded this company uh, last year, 2018-16 August. Uh, but the back-end research uh, was going on last six years. Uh, when the research came into a significant stage, we thought of putting up a company and uh, taking it to the mass. Uh, nutrition is a very vast subject and uh, uh, I belong to a very remote village and from a lower middle class family. 17 years back, I moved to Mumbai like all other Indian fellow to for the survival instinct to get a job and something like that. So, uh, since then I have been working in oncology space in different companies and uh, I have gotten opportunity to interact with uh, <coughs> oncologists, uh, patients, uh, patients' attendants, hospital management, pharma companies, research companies, all those um, uh, different stakeholders of the cancer ecosystem. I am fortunate to um, meet them. So, end of the day, we, we, we found that nutrition plays a big role in Indian context. Uh, when you see that cancer disease management is a priority for almost all developing countries and even the developed countries, the prevalence of cancer is more in of Western countries, that means developed countries rather than developing countries. But the growth of cancer diseases are higher in countries like India and all other developed countries. Those innovations will not give the optimal results. So from there we are coming uh, uh, with a concept that let us, um, we are working closely with the concept of uh, developing a nutritional uh, therapy process for cancer patients, which uh, we are in a talk with the government to getting it endorsed. Uh, at the same time, we have come with the, the research that we have done that uh, during the several different stages of the cancer, the nutritional status changes. Like when the person gets detected with the cancer, till the time he starts the uh, therapy, the cell biology 
uh, as per the cell biology of the patients, the nutritional requirements are different. So, in, in a normal case, when a patient is taken to the operation theater, he has been taken certain uh, certain measures, certain certain thing has been taken care. So we call it the preconditioning. It is happening in the it, it is a mandatory for the, some of the chemotherapy drugs also. Uh, it is completely a nutritional therapy from the concept of nut nutritional therapy. Uh, one product is called uh, S-Envigor, which is the base formula which takes care of the general health of the cancer patients. It starts from uh, day one, the um, uh, patient detects with, detects with the cancer till the time the uh, doctor wants or the, his body permits, you know, comes to the normal stage. And the second product is S42, which has got a three version. One is uh, preconditioning of the um, uh, patient, that means before starting the uh, treatment, chemotherapy, radiotherapy or immunotherapy, uh, patient has to be taken. If patient comes in early stage, this preconditioning is possible for the doctor. So it is called S42 Nourish and then is S42 Protect, which is um, uh, during the therapy, so it takes care of the whatever the nutritional changes or lack happens during the therapy, it takes care. So it complements the main therapy. So the drug used during the main therapy has been um, has been uh, it gives the um, optimal uh, efficacy of the drugs and uh, S fortitude um, recovered recovery, which is after the treatment stops, this patient has to continue at least for six to nine months. Um, per month therapy remains same. It ranges from 10,000 to 16,800 rupees, depending on the patient's body weight and all. So, both the versions are at the same? Yeah. It's, a patient has to be taken uh, along with Envigor, which is a base formula, with, if it is recovery, recovery. So, two at the same time, two, both the things has, been, has to be taken.